Hey y'all, welcome to the Farming Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. And guess what? I just wanted to tell you that miracles still happen. They do. You know why? Caroline cooked us supper. She cooked us supper and for her in-laws. So stay tuned. I'm taking you along. We're going over to her house and we're going to film her making a supper. <laughs> Hey guys, guess what? Caroline's cooking! Ah, she's, she's cooking for us tonight and her in-laws. So, and this is something she's never made before. Now, she lives on the wild side, let me tell you. Cooking for other people, something she's never made before. <laughs> that girl is a wild girl. So, let's come over here. We're going to get the seasoning done. She's going to go ahead and make the seasoning. And then I'm going to run home for a little bit, and then I will be back uh, when she gets ready to cook. But it's a chicken dish. It's a baked chicken dish. And so we're going to put together the seasoning for the chicken now before I run home. Also, welcome to my house. <laughs> this is the mobile home that we had brought in. And, well, actually, Caroline purchased it, and we had it brought in over here um, to the farm. We have since bought it from her since she's going to be moving into her house. And um, this will more than likely become Isaac's dwelling bachelor pad. Of course, we're hoping it won't be a bachelor pad for long. But anyway, this may be where he starts out. Okay, so the original recipe is for four people. But since I'm doing more than that, I'm doubling the recipe. So it calls for a tablespoon and a half of brown sugar. So I'm doing three, three tablespoons. tablespoons. So there's my three tablespoons of brown sugar. I gotta look at my recipe. Okay, you look at your, I'm gonna come around to the other side. Okay, here, we can move some stuff over. I got my chicken thawing out in my sink. Excuse the mess. Um, so we need one teaspoon of paprika. So since I'm doubling it again, I'll do two teaspoons. On my handy dandy. Um, and forgive the child there in his underwear. <laughs> <laughs> We're at home. Look, she's even leveling it off. Well, just because Daddy's like really weird about spicy stuff. Look, I got her those teaspoons for her new house, and she's already broke into them and opened them. Yep. All right, so three tablespoons of brown sugar, two teaspoons of paprika. And remember, she is doubling the recipe. And we will try to remember to link below the original, the, the actual re recipe. So um, I get two teaspoons of oregano. The noise you hear in the background is her washer. Oh, I could get turn that off. I'm sorry. I'm not used to this. We were not planning to do this, so this was. I figured y'all could use a cooking video. So I need one fourth of garlic powder, but since I'm doubling it, I need two of these. So I need five. Yeah. Math. Math. She was not a math whiz. No, never good She her. is wonderful in writing and grammar and history, but math, not so much. I'm good at some math, just not a lot of it. Gosh, it's all like... Some moisture has gotten into it. to it. Let me get down here in the bottom. Here we go. And... Salt and pepper. You can just eyeball that. I'm just eyeballing this. I want to see it turn a little bit white. Yep. We can always add more of that to taste. Yep, at the table. Sorry, y'all. I didn't mean to jar you around. Um. 
Okay. And then I'm just going to take a spoon. Mommy, help. What? Mommy, he's handing you the no-nos. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm just going to mix this all around. Put a lid on it and get ready to put it on the chicken later. So there's our seasoning. She's breaking up the clumps. Looking into my... Any moisture gets in your... Garlic. No, that's actually brown sugar. Oh, yeah. Well, of course, that's going to have a little moisture. Okay, guys. We'll see you back when it's time to prepare it. There we go. Hey. hey. <laughs> uh, We're back. I've done the chicken. This pack I bought already... It was already thinly sliced. Um, so, I've laid it out on a... Uh, and this, sheet. this pack was thick. This I butterflied and pounded a little bit because they were a little thicker. And she, and she trimmed it like. Oh, I, did, I didn't do that. Well, there's not. I don't see much on there. Okay. But there's a good piece on that one. I would trim that off. Okay. So apparently you're supposed to trim your cat off your chicken. Nothing like mama standing over you watching it. Well, and I don't like the way chicken feels on my hand. I don't like getting my hands dirty. Isaac does not like to work with chicken either. I can't get it in. There it goes. Okay. And that little piece. Is too. it turn that? Is that what was that? Was that a bone no. that you were hitting? I hit this. Okay. Oh, okay. Sometimes they leave a little bitty piece of bone if you're not careful. And the way I butterfly it. Is like this. Yep. That's the way I do it. And we're just wanting it thin so it'll cook evenly and quickly. Sometimes there you it, go. it sticks a little bit. Very and then good. On the thicker pieces, like, well, this one's not a good one, but you can punch it. <laughs> Punch it. Pound it down. I don't have a... Use your fist if you don't have a meat mallet. I don't have a meat mallet, so... <laughs> I told y'all I'm not a cook. Why invest in a meat mallet? When God gave you the tools. That's right. All right. Okay, guys, and anytime you work with chicken, raw poultry of any sort, you always want to wash up really good afterwards. Maybe make sure you're using the hot water. Okay guys, she's getting out the seasoning we made earlier, or she made earlier, and I filmed. Kind While she's doing that, a bit. this is Brent over there. That's Jamie's dad. And this is Cindy, Jamie's mama. That's it. Very good friends of ours from a long time ago. Jamie and Caroline kind of grew up together. And I just do both sides and I'm kind of sprinkling it and then rubbing, rubbing it in. Massaging it in. All right, well, we'll be back soon as she's done with this. Okay, guys, it is all seasoned, ready to go in a what temperature? 425 degrees. 425 degree oven. For 18 minutes. 18 minutes. We'll see how it tastes. We're going to have a good old supper. All right, guys. There's the chicken. Doesn't that look delicious? We'll do a taste test in just a little bit. Okay, guys. Since you all get to see Bryant and Caroline and Isaac and Jamie all the time, we're going to get Cindy, Jamie's mom, to do the taste test of this chicken. I've already tasted it, and I think it's really good. Tasty and tender. Tasty and tender. Good job, y'all. As surprised as we all are. I made a good dish. Caroline made a good supper. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you for joining us at Caroline's house. As she cooks for her in-laws, and then she let us crash the party because we have no kitchen. And um, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all. Okay, guys, so Caroline did an amazing job fixing that chicken. And we ended up cooking it um, 
18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 minutes, because I added eight minutes to it uh, when we got it out, um, but it was perfect from that. So, y'all, it was so delicious. We had potatoes, stew potatoes, or boiled potatoes, and green beans, and Mr. Levi came and stood at my knees, and he ate most of my potatoes and green beans, so he was a hungry little boy, too. But thank you guys for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Thank you for remaining loyal and going along with me since I can't cook in my house <laughs> yet. I've kind of set the den up. Um, there's my kitchen that you can now see. I have set the furniture, even though the floor is still a mess. I did do some sweeping today um, and then kind of arranged the furniture in here a different way and um, so still a lot of work to do but I kind of got it where it f felt a little bit better than just a jumbled mess so let me show you something Bryant did for me today hey look guys. that's the hardest working man I know anywhere so let me show you what he did for me and then we'll sign out and I'll see you next time so hang on let me go in the kitchen Okay, guys, so I'm in here in the kitchen, and if you remember me showing you the shiplap walls, that the wood that my daddy had put behind every single wall in this house, whether it be interior or exterior, there was shiplap on the walls behind the sheetrock. So we took some. Kevin aged it by burning it. I showed you that on one of the former videos, but let me show you what Bryant did for me today with it. Okay. I now have a cast iron, ta -da! Ta -da! a cast iron station, station wall. display wall. Um, what do you? We now call her the Iron Chef. The cast iron shrine. The iron Chef. <laughs> um, of course, this wall is going to be painted. Show how, but, um, show how we did. Okay, get up here real close. This is just, the rod is just... It's, a, um, it's black iron pipe. Black right? iron pipe. Half inch black iron pipe. That's a flange mount. Yep. With a... Elbow. It's called a street elbow. And he, we just got some um, hammered black paint. This was already black, but we gave it that hammered look. And, um, and then we just bought these S hooks to go here. You guys can do this at home if you'd like. We've got about $90 in that particular part of the project. The flange, the, the pipe itself is about $12 a piece. They're 24 inches wide. Uh, the flanges are about $5 a piece. The, the street elbows are about uh, $4 a piece. And so. And y'all, funny thing is, this one right here is actually Isaac's. That's why it looks funny on the back because he used it outside in the fire. So, um, oh. he hasn't seasoned it well yet, yep. um, but we hung it up there anyway. Yep. I'll let his cast iron hang with my cast iron. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching The Farming Pastor's Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. And we'll see you next time. And give Carolina congratulations on her supper last night. Hey, tell me oh. what's happening Monday. What's happening Monday? Well, come here, let's get out of the light. Don't feel me, I'm dirty. Oh, well, what, what's back, happening? Turn it back around. Turn it back around. Hang on, guys. You want to see the deer? Yeah. Okay. Monday, they're coming to hook up Big Bertha. Oh, Big Bertha. Is that what you ended up naming her? Yes, the stove, yeah. Big Bertha. I don't know if I like Big Bertha. I don't know. We'll see. I'm still thinking on a name for my stove. But, um. They're coming Monday. They're coming Monday to hook her up yeah. or him up. Why is it a her? I don't know. It's a him. All right. Thank you guys for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.